we used to think that we were in the real estate business and dabbled in technology. But what we've really come to figure out is that we're really a technology company that dabbles in real estate. And that technology uh, are sciences that rule us, physics, chemistry, biology, and increasingly sociology. And what we're, what we're really focused on is understanding human patterns. You know, our basic job is to buy a piece of dirt, dig a hole, pour a foundation, set steel and glass, and lease it up. After that, it's our job to operate those buildings. And unless we do that efficiently, unless we're competitive at doing that, unless we use all the possible tools necessary to enable us to do that, we're not doing our job. So our, our job really is to focus on making our residents, our occupants, our commercial office tenants as comfortable as they possibly can be, utilizing the least amount of energy possible. The first thing that property owners really want and need is an integrated system. We need to understand that there are subsystems within our buildings. We have lighting systems. We have HVAC systems, both heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. We have elevators. We have IT systems. We have uh, occupancy systems. We have perimeter security. We have physical security. We have data security. So all of these systems have to be integrated into a single screen. And that single screen for us really came about after Con Ed asked us to be the commercial office petri dish for their smart grid demonstration project. And they invited us in, we sat down, the first screen we saw was what was happening right before the lights went out in 2003. And they were posing a question to us was, we have 45 seconds early warning before the lights went out, if we had given you a portion of that time, would that have been valuable to you? And we said, yes. Lights go out, elevators stop, people get stuck. We then spend most of our time right after an incident like that, using up all of our emergency generating capacity, lowering people down in elevators one by one. Fire department comes, helps open the doors. People are, are left, are, are allowed to get out of the elevator. We said, you give us an early warning, we program our elevators, they feel that, that, that dip in frequency in the grid, they go to the nearest floor, they let people out within that 45 second period, nobody gets stuck. We thought that was a brilliant, brilliant thing. We then realized we didn't have a catcher's glove. I couldn't, even if Con Ed wanted to give me that signal, I couldn't catch it and make it actionable in the time required. And so what we looked at, Gene Bonnyberg and myself looked at each other as we walked out of this meeting and we said, we need an operating system. Our iPads have operating systems, our minis have operating systems, our smartphones have operating systems. Why doesn't this two million square foot building have an operating system? And then we went out and figured out, created a prototype, uh, worked with Columbia University. The system does four things. First, it integrates all the subsystems within the building, single screen. I can look at eight million square feet and all the different systems on a single screen and see what's going on like that. The second thing it does is it identifies all the crucial infrastructure and links that infrastructure, again, into that single system. The third thing it does, which we think is the differentiator between a smart building and a building that's not smart or intelligent, and that's memory. Today, we collect a lot of data, we dump it every day. What DBOS does, and DBOS stands for Digital Building Operating System, is it literally identifies patterns from the day before, the day before that, and weeks before, and creates a prescriptive and predictive pathway every day for that building engineer to come in and ultimately follow that pathway, both for the consumption of electricity, consumption of steam, um, and all other systems. The fourth thing that the system needed to be was a tenant retention system. We needed to be able to take this data and not only collect it, remember it, learn from what we remembered it, remembered from it, express it, and then share it as quickly as we possibly can with our commercial tenants and residential tenants. And that's what DBOS does.